guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. A few days ago, I uploaded an uh, image I created in Photoshop on my social media channels and you guys asked me to record tutorial how I created this image. Guys, it's super, super easy. Let me show it to you. I have opened Adobe Photoshop uh, and also I have created my uh, document. You can create your document in any size you like. Today, I will be using as any other day my uh, Wacom tablet. I can't uh, work without my Wacom tablet. Also, I will be using 3D objects I downloaded from pixelsquid.com and I will be using image I downloaded in lenses uh, from Adobe Stock. You can use any image you like. Now, I have one a layer simple empty layer. I will click on my Creative Cloud library and here I have my image I would like to use as my sky. I will click on this image and I will drag this image into my document. I will resize it, I will make it bigger, or maybe not too much, just like this and I will click OK to accept all changes. Now, I will switch to Pixel Squid plugin and here I have my window I would like to use in my creation today. I will click on this 3D object and voila. Using Pixel Squid uh, plugin uh, window, I will rotate my 3D object in a way I like. Switching to select and move tool, I will resize my 3D object just like that. I would like to make it bigger and also I will reposition it just like this. Look at this, how awesome is it? And I will click OK to accept all changes. If you would like, you can switch to um, a crop tool and you can crop your image in a way you like. It's up to you. Now, I would like to specify, you know Pixel Squid, I don't need shadow in my uh, window object because it will be not visible anyways, but I would like to have my 3D object in high resolution, just like this. Now, I would like to add another um, 3D object. I will click on add new and here I have my moon, but I would like to add moon behind my window. So I will click on my um, sky, night sky layer. I will click on my moon just like this and voila. Now I can reposition my moon in a way I like. First of all, let me uh, move it on the side and make it smaller. Just like this. And how perfect is it? And I will click OK. And again, I will ask a Pixel Squid that, you know, Pixel Squid, I don't need shadows in my moon uh, 3D object, but I would like to have my moon in a high resolution. So I will switch from low to high, just like this. Now I would like to add another 3D object. I will click on Add New. And here, guys, I have our Santa. I will click on our Santa 3D object just like that. I will rotate it directly from a Pixel Squid plugin window just like this. I will specify that a little bit more. I will specify that, you know, Pixel Squid, uh, I don't need shadows, but of course I need my Santa in high resolution. So I will switch from low to high resolution just like that. And I will uh, resize my Santa. I will make, I will bring size of uh, this 3D object down and I will reposition it just like this. Maybe something like this. And I will click OK. Now, guys, definitely I need to adjust my lighting in um, a Santa 3D object because um, part of my Santa, which is directly next to the moon, will be brighter than other uh, parts of my Santa. What I will do, I will click on um, window, I will click on adjustments and here I have um, exposure adjustment. I will click on exposure adjustment and I will ask Photoshop to add my adjustment only to the layer below my adjustment, only to my Santa 3D, 3D object. 
I will add a clipping mask and now I will bring exposure down just like this. Maybe just like this. And because I applied my adjustment as separate layer, I can modify my adjustment. Let's see. I can bring opacity of my adjustment layer down. I will click on adjustment layer. I will switch to my uh, brush tool with black color and I will paint this adjustment layer out next to the moon just like this and now we have um, part of our Santa uh, brighter directly next to our moon perfect now I will click on my window layer I will uh, ask uh, pixel squid to add a new 3d object and here guys we have I have you can have it too if you will download this 3d object I have this beautiful curtain I will click on it just like that and definitely I need to rotate it I will rotate it directly from pixel squid plugin and using my move tool I will reposition it and maybe I will make it bigger just like that perfect 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 exactly as I want and now guys I will um, specify to pixel squid uh, that yes I need my shadows and also I need my uh, curtain in high resolution so I will switch from low to high resolution just like this and now the time you know what maybe I will move my curtain just slightly to the left just like this to see a little bit more Santa now I need to add another 3d object I will click add new and here guys I have very beautiful dog I will click on it just like this using a um, pixel squid a plugin window I will rotate my 3d object just like this and definitely I can resize it or I can reposition it just like this and maybe I will resize it yes 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 now our dog is sitting and looking at the Santa as, um, maybe I will bring size down just like that and I will rotate it perfect you know what maybe a little bit more not like this just like this yes I love it love it love it and I will specify to pixel squid that yes I need shadows and yes I need my dog in high resolution so I will switch from high to low resolution now guys what I need to do um, our dog face should be um, brighter from the window side how we can do it same principle I will um I click on exposure just like that I will specify that I would like to apply my adjustment only to the layer below my adjustment layer only to the dog and I will bring exposure down just like this and because I applied um, adjustments as separate layer I can modify my adjustment in a way I like first of all I will bring opacity of this layer down and using my brush tool with a black color first of all I will bring opacity of my brush down to 24 I will paint my adjustment out of my dog's face if I paint it out more than I want it I simply switch from white um, uh, color of my brush to from black color of my brush to white and I will paint this part back just like this now guys I would like to add a few more details first of all I would like to add snow um, from outside of my window I will create a new empty layer under my window layer I will um, click on my brushes panel and here guys I have a lot of brushes I downloaded from uh, Adobe website if you are creative cloud subscriber all these brushes are free for you I will click on this watercolor brush 
I will change color of my brush to white and I will bring size of my brush down and using this brush I will add a little bit snow just like that because this is Christmas night it's supposed to be uh, we're supposed to have snow not in Atlanta but still and I will add a little bit more snow here look at this how beautiful is it if you paint it um, more than you want it simply switch to eraser tool and paint out part of your snow perfect what about real snow can we add uh, snow um, falling down yes I will switch back to my uh, brush tool and I will use another watercolor brush maybe this one I will increase size of my brush in brush settings a window I will increase um, spacing for my brush and I will add a little bit more snowflakes let's change color of my brush just like that and because I was working on a separate layer I can bring down uh, opacity of uh, this uh, layer now oh yeah, see guys I made mistake I will undo my uh, brushes uh, brushes uh, brush strokes just like that I will create a new uh, layer and I will add a little bit more snowflakes just like this how beautiful is this and because I use separate layer I can bring down opacity of my layer down now I will add a new layer I will switch to another watercolor brush with a same a white a color I will increase size of my brush and I will add a little bit more snowflakes just like this and again guys because I was using a separate layer I can bring down opacity of my layer just like this now I will merge all my visible layers just like that I will duplicate my layer just to show to you before and after I will switch to camera raw filter and first of all I will click on profiles and as usual first of all I will click on artistic uh, profile family and let's see what profile I would like to apply today guys look at this I would like to apply artistic 03 profile I can decrease or increase amount of my profile to be applied to my image after I after I will be happy with um, this profile I will click close and now I will increase exposure just slightly increase contrast and what I will do guys I will add a magnet around my image just like that and now we have completely another story we have very beautiful very mystery Christmassy image just like this and I will click OK and this is before our camera roll and this is after so guys this is what I wanted to share with you today it's super easy just go download pixel squid a plugin it will cost you about uh, a little bit more than hundred dollars um, per year but it's up completely worth it I'm using pixel squid uh, pretty much every day with all my workflow even with my photography workflow with my 3d workflow with my compositing uh, and painting a uh, workflow so guys uh, just go download and start using it right away again if you have any questions just ask thank you so much for your time thank you so much for all your support super appreciated and i will see you later bye guys